I'm Fran with Stampendous, and I want to show you some more very fun ways to achieve the laurel birch look with all of your fun stamping ideas. Here you can see a board with a lot of these uh, beautiful and vibrant colors, and today I want to show you some other ideas of ways to creatively use the messages that you see, as well as some of the patterning. So let's take a quick look here. Earlier I showed some coloring with the Copic markers just to see how all of these vivid colors come together. And I left a little opening in here in case I wanted to add a message. And I realized that one of the easiest ways to figure out what would fit in that space is to hold your clear set up. So this is one of the, the clear sets. And I was able to move this around and see that that one would fit in there perfectly. So that was one idea. But then I wanted to make use of, uh, we've added several of these clear sets now. Um, we started out with these uh, fun ones that had a lot of messages with a few images. And now there's some additional ones here. And on this one, there's a little flower, so I've got it on my block, and I don't need any method of positioning, and I can just come in and fill in. And that can be very fun. And I can continue doing some more coloring on that. Another of the Laurel Birch um, looks is that she has all these fun little geometric um, icons, as they call them. And they are so fun to play with. And let's do some fun playing around with that next. And instead of black and white, uh, which I think is quite striking. Uh, let's do a bit here um, on this blue card. So if I wanted to start at the edge, I certainly could see to just work my way down. just become a very interesting, fun, and rhythmic sort of thing to just keep adding patterns and even go off the edges. If your stamp is small and your block is big, you tend to get a lot of ink around the edges. But now what I'm going to do is add several more of these icons from whatever set you have. And if you do threes, that works quite fun because you kind of create a triangle sort of area. So now let's add that. And of course this makes it lots faster. And you can keep turning it different directions to keep filling in the space. So that just keeps multiplying how quickly you can create all these sort of patterns. Here's one of the cats where I just simply got out my black pens and did all black and white and that's really fun. And that in contrast with bright colors on other things can be a very fun look. Next I want to show you how you can quickly develop all this kind of background patterning using all the words. So let's show you how uh, that comes together. I took all of the messages from my clear sets and I began positioning them on a corner of this block and the edges helped me square it off and I started up in one corner and then just kept adding all the single words, all the big words and worked my way all the way around. So if you start from one corner and work your way across, that's usually the easiest. And sometimes you'll have 
a little space that is best filled by one of the little icons. And I think I took that one out, so we'll... Actually, I've got one that's a little bit bigger. Let's put this one in. Okay, and now we'll ink it up so you can see what we have here. Make sure you get it all inked. And there you have it. Sometimes where you get stuck with some little areas where you didn't have anything small enough to fill, if you want to, you could always just do some little tiny dots. And your eye fills in the rest. Here you can see that the contrast of black and white with the full color is very fun just by itself. Let's see how it looks over here. And then of course if you wanted to do it in white on black then there's so many options that you could do with embossing. And so if you switch from your black ink to one of your pigment inks, that will make it easy to stay wet long enough to do your embossing. Here you see black, uh, black and white. Here you see gold on green. And another little tip that I found was once I had stamped that entire block, This was kind of the lazy way. If I wanted just one little message, if I cut really close, I could use all of the, <laughs> the big pieces that I did to create all of my little uh, message pieces. And I literally used up the entire block. By cutting it very close, it worked. <laughs> so that's another... A uh, fun tip that you can do for just stamping or embossing your messages. Here's another one. On this one, I did more inking on top of all of the color in the background. So we've got a whole gallery of beautiful samples for you to see how these couple of ways of using messages and icons from your clear sets will make some beautiful Laurel Birch cards.